Hello, my name is Patton Rice and I'm the director of the vocal music program at the Mississippi School of the Arts. This is my 17th year here. Uh, before that, I taught at three different universities and sang professionally, uh, classical and musical theater uh, from Austria to Hawaii. So I've had many years of experience singing and teaching. Um, what I want you to know about our department is that we have a a real cross-section of people from all over the state. We study different styles of music. Obviously, we're classically based, but we also study musical theater. The courses that you take here are junior and senior music theory, which covers mostly college freshman theory, choir every semester, a voice class uh, every other semester, and uh, there have been semesters when I taught uh, music appreciation, which you get a college credit for as a dual credit course. I've also taught musical theater here. Uh, aside from me, I also have a wonderful colleague, Ms. Cindy Hunter. She's our collaborative coach accompanist, and she brings many years of experience and degrees in uh, speech pathology and music uh, to the fore while we're working on all of this. We prepare for whatever's next, your next audition, auditioning for college, auditioning for a show, uh, any kind of competition you would go to. And this is a very exciting place to come and study music with like-minded artists who are here to grow and be very supportive of one another. Our program has produced lots of uh, students who are out there working professionally as music educators. We also have several who are performing artists. Uh, certainly I would mention uh, Jasmine Murray, who is a Christian contemporary artist. She was also Miss Mississippi. You've got Juwan Hobson, he's an R&B artist. Briar Luna was on The Voice. We've uh, Telvin Thomas, you may know him as Sip T, he's a rap artist. And of course Ezekiel Andrew, who uh, recently became part of the cast on Broadway of The Lion King. Uh, I just, I'm happy you're here. Uh, I'm looking forward to meeting uh, students and their parents, and I'll be glad to answer any questions you might have. Thank you. Microphone will pick me up for the streaming. Uh, welcome to our MSA Spring Chorale concert. Uh, I'm so glad you're here. Uh, we haven't gotten to sing as much as we'd like to this year. We're waiting for everything to open up uh, from COVID. I did notice when I looked at the program, I managed to miss something when I was doing the proofreading. Even though the idea of singing Sleigh Ride when it's hot outside, <laughs> this seems appealing to me, uh, we will not be singing Sleigh Ride. <laughs> so, Without further ado, we'll begin with our MSA alma mater.
national anthem. sing is uh, Shenandoah. You probably have all heard this. It's a very uh, well-known traditional folk song. It's really impossible to identify the organ. We don't know for sure. Uh, research suggests that it was originally a sea shanty. And you're going to notice we have one person very baritone part. <laughs> accompanied uh, by our accompanist, Cindy Hunter, our collaborative accompanist. I couldn't do what I do without her. Uh, next up, we have a really beautiful piece called The Lake Isle of Innisfree. 
It's by Eleanor Daly. It's, she's one of my favorite choral composers. The lyrics are by William Yeats, who is, of course, considered one of the greatest poets of the English language. Next up, we have Grow, and the words and music are by Sarah Quartle, 
contains beautiful part writing using gorgeous sequences with well-placed suspensions. It celebrates everything blooming and growing with the onset of spring and all the hope for renewal that that promises. Next up we have As the Rain Hides the Stars by Elaine Hagenberg. It's a yearning setting of a traditional Gaelic prayer. Our soloist is Kayla Brasbro.
This next one's a really special piece. Um, first of all, it's written by Randall Stroop. Randall Stroop's a conductor that invited us to sing with him in Chicago in spring of 2021. And the trip was canceled two or three days before we were supposed to leave. Um, he's a really famous composer, conductor, clinician. What's special about this piece is the text, Inscription of Hope. It was found on the, in a cellar in, uh, in Cologne, Germany. And, well, you'll see what that's about as soon as the piece starts. The Holocaust is a stunning reminder of the tragic results of prejudice and hate toward other people. But it is also a reminder that hope held firm will eventually reign victorious over the greatest of odds. The following words were inscribed on the walls of a cellar in Cologne, Germany, where Jews were hiding from the Nazis during World War II. Hope was all they had to hold on to. Hope was their only bridge to a brighter tomorrow. something about this next one. This is very special. Uh, Ain't No Grave is by an MSA graduate, Nicholas Ford. He recently came to MSA for a week of residency in March. He worked with our vocal students and wrote this arrangement of an old Robert Johnson Delta Blues piece. It features complex rhythms and angular leaps in vocal lines as well as an uh, underlying droning uh, set of sections. Nick finished his master's degree in composition last year at Boston Conservatory of Music and is writing for and singing with a Nightingale Vocal Ensemble, which is a professional vocal ensemble dedicated to singing primarily new music. Now, this piece, since it had so many complex rhythms, um, it, it was something that Miss Cindy had to beat out a lot of rhythms and a lot of pitches on this one. 
And yesterday, I just suggested, I said, why don't you, you've worked so hard with him on this, come down here and conduct this. So Miss Cindy Hunter is going to conduct Ain't No Grave. piece you know that's originally a Robert Johnson piece it goes back that far into the Delta and if you go looking you can hear Led Zeppelin do that tune as well uh, oops gotta get to page two uh, see the light is another Sarah Quartal uh, creation and it was inspired by her time living in Hawaii and there they have a tradition a story of the bowl of light and that's what this is about
Next up, we have a piece called Du Deton. So it's the first one we're doing in French. Uh, it's by an American composer, Morton Lards. And if you study uh, choral music, he's, one, he's considered one of our greatest choral composers. He is a National uh, Letter of Arts recipient whose compositions like O Manu Mysterium and Light Eternal have been performed all over the world. The poetry is by Rainer Maria Rilke, whose poems have been used for songs by such famous composers as Berg, Hindemith, Webern, and uh, Schoenberg. Uh, this text is from his French poems on roses. Lardzen found these poems to be, and I quote, especially charming, filled with gorgeous lyricism, deftly crafted and elegant in their imagery.
So this is our final uh, piece for the evening. This is As Sure Stars Shining. It's also by Randall Stroop. Sarah Teasdale, um, her text looks forward with hope to a beautiful world ahead with sure stars shining and peace as pure as crystal. The solos for this will be Z. Washington and Kendall Braswell. And before they sing, I don't want them to get teary, but parents, family members, thank you so much for sending me these students to teach. They've made my life better and richer. I commend you on what wonderful, supportive, talented, and genuinely lovely people they are. I look forward to working with uh, the juniors next year, and I will greatly miss the seniors. Give you a second. Okay. <laughs>
Pictures, yeah, we gotta get pictures, y'all. So we are we later. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. She didn't want that in.